Good morning dolls and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. In this video I'm going to show you how I extended the floor line of the dress shop by adding a large piece of cardboard to the base of the entire dollhouse and I did leave a little rim around the front to provide a very shallow walkway in front of the door. So here I'm going to give you a quick glance of how I extended it and created what I called a subfloor before I actually began to build the actual floor onto the extension. So I cut several pieces of jumbo craft sticks. I did leave the rounds on the ends of the, the edges because I didn't think it really mattered because it was all going to be covered up. I just cut it straight where it would butt up against the existing or original floor. I did spread a ample amount of Gorilla Wood Glue on top of the cardboard base and just began to add the jumbo craft sticks next to each other really close right up to the edge of the original floor. Now I will be adding two more layers of flooring to make everything level with the original floor, but this is what I did to create the base of the extension. Now if you notice, I am using my granite samples to weight down my craft sticks as I go along so that they won't curl while they're drying. And I'm going to go on and show you what happened that created a whole new situation for me. So I kept playing around with the roof of the dollhouse and I got to the point where I felt like I wanted to raise the wall line of the attic of the dollhouse. So I scored the paint on the roof line of the dollhouse on the outside and under the ridge. And then I began to tap it with my tiny hammer until the glue let go and I was able to lift the entire roof off of the dollhouse. So again dolls, in the beginning I had convinced myself that this was going to be a very quick, very simple renovation and it has proven that it is no such thing as a simple renovation in life size or in 12 scale. So after the original roof was removed I used pieces of cardboard to begin to create the new walls for the attic. Now dolls, after I removed the roof I had a little bit of remorse because now I was wondering if I would be able to create walls that match the roof line. So I needed some time to ponder. So I took this time and opportunity to go ahead and remove the glass from the front door so I could stain it. And a quick tip, dolls, anytime you remove glass from the frame of a window or door, always put it in a place that it will be safe, but don't make it so safe that you don't remember where you put it. So on these two pieces, I used the same Averithane Jacobian stain for these. Now I'm not putting it on real heavy and I'm not doing a lot of layers. I'm going to just do one um, coat of stain for now and allow the stain to soak into it and just see how it looks after it settles in for a couple days. I do want it to look aged and worn, but again, I don't want it to look too dark. Now that I've got these stairs looking pretty good, let me go ahead and move on to the door. And in the midst of working on this little project, I was sincerely feeling strong feelings of regret as to whether the decision to remove the roof was the right idea. But now that I've removed it, I've got to try out the concept that I've been thinking about. And if I'm wrong, I guess I'll just glue it back on. But let me show you what I did. So I glued two pieces of cardboard together using my Gorilla wood glue to make it really strong and really rigid and I weighted it down overnight and allowed it to dry. The next day I used the actual roof to create the same angles for the attic walls. After making sure I had the attic positioned on the cardboard properly I marked where I needed to cut it to create two walls that matched. After I cut the walls with a box cutter, which proved to be quite a task because by gluing the two layers together with the Gorilla Wood Glue, it was really, really sturdy and it did not want to come loose. But I did feel good that now I knew the walls would be nice and strong due to the two pieces of cardboard and the glue. So now that my angles are cut, let me try it in the house. So when I got them to the house and put them on the third floor, they looked good to a degree, especially when I sat the roof on. The roof line was good. It fit nicely. And I really felt like I could make it work until I turned it to the side. And when I looked at the side profile of the house with the new walls on the inner part, I really felt bad because I thought that looked really, really bad. 
then I would need to close this front part up and that really wasn't going to match the front of the house. So I was really, really feeling <laughs> disturbed by my decision to remove the roof, thinking that I would not be able to raise the walls in a fashion that would make it look natural and fit in with the original design of the house. At this point, I started looking at different pictures of houses and different designs of houses, trying to determine how I could make this work. I even flipped the roof around to the open side to think about maybe I could make a wall and add dormers, but it would make the back of the house area short where I really wouldn't be able to reach in and manage the dolls from that small space. At this point, the house, things had really gotten bad. I glued little pieces of wood to that cardboard piece to simulate windows and the windows looked ridiculous so at this point I thought it was going to be a whole flop of a renovation then I had a new idea so I went back to my table with a new piece of cardboard and used the template from my windows that I had just created in a couple previous videos I will leave a link in the description but I decided to make three corresponding windows to match the front of the existing structure and I'm kind of doing a connect the dots type of concept to make sure the cuts for my new window openings are level and straight and in alignment with the existing windows on the original structure. After I punched my holes and made sure that the lines were straight, I started to cut it again with the box cutter. Now this is a single layer that I'm cutting these windows in. I decided not to make the front of the house double because by the time I do the inside wood treatment for the attic floor and for the siding of the house, I think it will be strong enough. So I just want to give you dolls a sneak peek at my final design. This is the concept. I'm going to remove the roof altogether. I'm going to make the house have a flat roof and the upper floor is going to be a full floor. It's not going to be angled like an attic. It's actually going to give the dollhouse kind of a townhouse or a commercial property look or feel. So this is where I'm going with the dolls. I just wanted to show you what my thought process was. Nothing is glued. But this is where I am in my redesign process for the dress shop. So dolls, I had to allow that idea to simmer and settle in my mind before I was able to proceed. So while I was allowing that to simmer, I went on to implement a suggestion so many of you dolls had given me regarding removing the old wainscoting from the walls. I was having a rough time, so I did use the high setting on my blow dryer because I don't have a hot glue gun and it really worked wonderfully. I was able to completely remove all of the old beadboard that was on the walls of the dress shop showroom. So I was really excited to see it all cleared away. Now I have a fresh palette. It's all the way down to the raw walls. So I'm really excited about that. Thank you for your suggestions, dolls. It really worked well. Now I have extended the floor. The walls are clear and I can get to really, really decorating on the inside of the house. Now, Daddy always said decorate the outside of the house first, and I will stay within his guidelines, but I have started creating templates for the inside decor. So let's go back to the third floor. So here is the structure completely assembled. I have started to do a paper mache covering of the entire cardboard structure to make sure it's solid and firm. And dolls, that blue strip is just some painter's tape um, stabilizing the walls while they dry. Now I do have the fan on to accelerate the drying time so let's look at it on top of the original structure. And here it is partially papered and here it is completely covered with the paper mache which is literally flour water and a little bit of Gorilla Wood glue. So if you've enjoyed this video today dolls let me know in the comments. Also like share and subscribe and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye-bye now, dolls.